Oxford Circus, whose tube station rush hour traffic grows and grows, gave Londoners their first intimation that work on the Victoria Tube was going on. Last August bank holiday weekend, the circus was closed to traffic while what they called an umbrella was built over the roadway. It made possible the complicated probing and digging amongst a maze of cables, pipes and drains, which have multiplied since the tube station was built. The umbrella has been a big success. Helped by a few diversions, the enormous traffic through Oxford Circus and nearby streets has gone on almost as before. At Cavendish Square, only a hop, skip and a jump from Oxford Circus, there is a shaft to the working 70 feet below. It's one of the 33 sites from Victoria to Walthamstow at which work is going on. And what astounding work it is, this drilling of a tube 10 and a half miles long. A shield, nine feet long, 23 feet in diameter, is hydraulically rammed through the clay, which has to be dug away by men using pneumatic spades. Cedric Dunton, London Transport's chief civil engineer, supervises the positioning of segments which make up the walls on the tube. The 150 men working at this site have to endure noise, mud and wet at 80 degrees. Even with the most up-to-date tunneling machinery, tube construction is a slow business going forward here at nine feet a day. The complete cost of the work will be 56 million pounds. All the clay dugout has, of course, to be taken up to the surface, and from there, lorries take it to be dumped in disused quarry pits in the home county. It all adds up to a hard, slow job, but four years from now, the Victoria Line will be in operation. A very welcome improvement for the hundreds of thousands who now battle their way home, jammed together so tight that a sardine tin would seem like outer space. The umbrella already seems a permanent part of Oxford Circus, but roll on the completion of the Victoria Tube. <laughs>